if you're getting into the commercial space, leases are a little bit different over there. You're able to get a commercial property and essentially you just collect rent. Some of the big takeaways for me were definitely some of the things you guys already talked about. But when we're talking about the 5 x in your portfolio, I'd forgotten about that C3X spreadsheet. And I was like, oh my God, because I've been thinking about I need to buy another rental. And I was like, I need to figure out where I'm going to get some more down payment money. And it dawned on me, now I need to go take a look at that because I can probably pull some equity out one of the other properties to be able to buy another property. Another big takeaway for me was the 1031 exchange. I'd forgotten about that. And when I sold one of my properties, I missed my opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that kind of came back to me. And another thing is I want to eventually get into the commercial space, the triple net leases. So basically with the triple net, if you buy a restaurant or whatever, they're going to pay all the taxes, they're going to pay all the insurance, and they're going to maintain the property. So basically you're just going to get a check. And so that's something that I'm definitely looking into. And yeah. basically overall, it just helped me re-energize and refocus to get ready for next year. I love it. And you know what, what I've realized is that reiterating this stuff, whether it's the five profit centers or the C3X, this idea, yes. we've had shows on how if you have multiple properties, there's a spreadsheet that can help you figure out which property to pay down first. And yep. if you figure that out correctly, you gain equity much quicker and you're able to get to those infinite returns much faster. And that yep. if you're a JWB investor, that's something that your portfolio manager can do. If you're a fortune builder student, they give you the spreadsheet themselves. To me, that's such like a common thing yet. I realize that people get a lot of value out of that stuff. So for sure. thanks for bringing that back up. The 1031, the idea yes. that you're ready to liquidate yes. a property to yes. make sure that, what is it? Is it like 45 days that you'd have to have it locked in? So you got to have that plan? Yep, 45 days. And I believe you have, I think 90 days after that to close or I think it was 90 days, but I missed that opportunity when I sold a property. And I was like, right after I did, I was like, oh my God, I forgot. But I won't forget again. <laughs> I can tell you, you that. There you <laughs> That's awesome, Vera. And then finally, the triple net, just to clarify for everybody, if you're getting into the commercial space, leases are a little bit different over there. You're able to get a commercial property and essentially you just collect rent. The commercial tenant uh, in some commercial leases, which are these triple net ones, are in charge of all the upkeep. They're in charge of all the utilities and they're in charge of all the taxes and everything. You're basically just collecting rent. I was in the commercial construction space, so I knew about that stuff, but I would assume that as a residential real estate investor, that's a big eye opener uh, once you can step up into that game as well. Yes. It just helps you expand your portfolio, which I'm always going to keep single family, but I also want to expand in the commercial area.